Star Citizen 4.5 brings a lot, and especially in the graphics department. In my previous videos, I have tested the Vulcan on HDR and SDR, but today I want to focus on something else. A lot of people cannot use NVIDIA Smooth Motion in a Vulcan, me included. The game crashes and we have a black screen. So today I have turned the game into the DirectX 11 and I'm gonna now go to my graphics and my Star Citizen and enable Smooth Motion. There we go. Now we're gonna go inside of the game and see is there a difference between DirectX 11 and Vulkan. So after enabling Smooth Motion, even on elect DirectX 11, I still get the game crash. For me, at least, it's not possible to enable the Smooth Motion. Write me down in the comments, can you enable them? Now we're gonna go and play the DirectX 11 without the Smooth Motion and see is there any difference to the Vulkan.
So after recording this video to the best of my abilities, I can notice two things. The first thing is the Vulcan has much better quality graphics. I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but to me it just looks better. The best example is when the Polaris are going out of the hangar and the lightning is just phenomenal on Vulcan. The second thing is the DirectX 11 gives constantly better FPS, but while I was playing I didn't know the results and I had a feeling all the time that the Vulcan gives better FPS because it was so damn stable. Yes, there were still some hiccups but not even close to DirectX 11. So I definitely recommend using Vulcan because this game is optimized for the Vulcan and I just hope the CIG implements and either the frame generation or smooth motions back into the Star Citizen because it is so needed with such a huge graphic improvements. What do you guys think about this? What will you run on 4.5? Write me down in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't hesitate to subscribe, like and share. Until next video, have fun out there.